Number 64. Oxygen reaches the veinless cornea of the eye by diffusing through its tear layer, which is 0.5 millimeters thick. How long does it take the average oxygen molecule to do this? All right. So basically, they're giving us a couple of things, right? They're, uh, they're telling us, that, or they're asking us for the time it takes for basically oxygen to diffuse through a certain tear layer. And uh, tear layer, we're going to assume, is mostly water, okay? So basically, the question is asking us, how long does it take uh, for oxygen to diffuse through a half of a millimeter thick layer of water? And in order to do this, we need to have a diffusion formula. So we do, right? It's down here on the bottom right. So this says that the root mean square distance, just think of this as average distance, is going to be equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by the diffusion uh, constant multiplied by the time. So if I want to know how long it's going to take, I better know two things about oxygen traveling through water. I better know how thick or how, you know, what the distance that oxygen molecule has to travel. And I also have to know the diffusion constant for oxygen in water. This is gotten from your book or a, you know, constant table. I doubt you're going to have to memorize that. Here's the value down here, oxygen and water. And they did tell us the distance, okay? Just remember we need standard units here. And what we're going to need to do is solve for time. So why don't we solve this for time first? All right. So we got to get rid of the square root. So we got to square both sides. Okay. So we have X. I'm just going to drop the RMS for now. Just know that it's the root mean square. Just to save a little time. So this is now equal to 2 times D times T. I need to get these away from the T. So therefore, I'm just going to bring them from the numerator essentially on the right. You might say, well, where, where's the fraction? I don't see a fraction. No, you can put anything over 1, right? So now there's the numerator. So now, just take them from the top here and bring them to the bottom on the left-hand side. That's it. Just move them across like a simple cross-multiplication. Tidy it up a little bit. And voila, here's the equation. Simple. All right. So now all we need to do is just solve for t. Let's plug in what we know. The distance was a half a millimeter. But remember, you need that in terms of a meter. So take the half a millimeter, divide it by 1,000. And then you're going to square that result. And divide that now by 2 multiplied by that diffusion coefficient. And we wrote it down. This is right from the book 1.0 times 10 to the minus 9. And this will tell you the time. Okay? This will tell you the time. So let's do it. So 0 0.5 divided by 1,000. And then square that value. Okay? Square that value. And then divide it by 2 times 1 times 10 to the minus 9. And close those parentheses, and we get about 125, right? So here, um, it's going to take about, so 100, 125, and what are the units here? Let me just back up one step. 125 seconds on average, this is going to take, all right? Um, so, yeah, there it is. All right, then. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Hopefully, you can subscribe. And if not, subscribe anyway. Thank you.